Hello, how are you guys? Uh, in today's lesson, we are going to talk about eyes. Okay, how to draw eye in your textures. So, for many studies, says that eyes is one of the most important features on your face. Okay, your most recognizable defining feature. So, without a, you know attractive eyes, your character will lose interest, will lose uh, characters. Will lose traits, so you have to get a good eye to be able to uh, convey uh, some of the information, right? Um, but before we start to get our wet, uh, well, our feet wet, we have to think about anatomy first. So in this picture, we have six uh, informations that we're going to talk about: uh, the upper eyelid, sc scala, lower eyelid, caracal pupil and iris so those features we have to include all those six features while we're doing things keep those in mind or if you lose one of the features you know if you didn't do one of the feature good the eyes are not going to look great okay so one thing I want to mention before we start to do it is when we're doing the upper eyelid you need to think about which part is the darkest line. So obviously, when we're doing hand painted, we have to uh, think about the lighting information. So when the lighting come down right here. It's just to increase my opacity a little bit more. Yeah, that's not the thing I want. Um. So if the light is come from the upper side, okay. Your eyelid, the upper eyelid this area is going to be the darkest part okay so we are doing the things in that need we need to draw the thickness okay the thickness of the upper eyelid when we're doing the texturing we're going to explain that later on while we're doing the texturing okay and also we need to keep make sure that um, we need to add warmth to uh, the caracal and as well as some cool colors to the scale scala scara Sclera, sclera, okay, whatever. And also, we have to think about the highlight. Cool. And then that's those features that we, as soon as we have those things in our mind, it's much easier to uh, to process uh, texturing. All right. Um, so let's just get started. So normally I will start with a flat color. So the reason behind it is I want to have I want to have my color to be consistent. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna use a soft brush, kind of just like brush it over and over the eyes, around the eyes, and use a cold color. Normally I'll use cold color, like purplish color, and brush it over, kind of just define my um, my sclera. Okay. And then I'm gonna use those um, soft brush, kind of define uh, the rough shape of the eyes. So even if you're doing this um, hand painted eyeballs, you still have to think about uh, the anatomy of the eyes. Just think about these eyes uh, as a ball shape, okay? And the ball is like placed in the center of this eye socket and getting wrapped away the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid and also use the, keep using the soft brush that I'm just using the soft brush give a little bit of gradient uh, in the in the eye, eye the cornea and so when we're doing this uh, the shadings on the, the white of the eyes kind of just because there's like you know the light source and the light source is above the eye eyeball so that's why I'm, I'm adding those shadows. Um, remember I talked about this, um, the theory when we are um, drawing this upper eyelid. And you need to think about where uh, the light source is. The light source is about the eyeballs, okay, as you this because, you know, where the eye light source is from, the sun and the moon. And that's where you're going to use those the shallow lines underneath the upper eyelid kind of just like define the shape of it and the darkest area is it's just right above uh, the cornea right there is the, this is the area the where I'm painting the darkest area of the upper eyelid 
and I'm gonna use a solid circle um, for to represent my uh, pupil. So to be honest, the pupil is just a hole. Okay, it's a hole to receiving the light information. So when we're doing this, we don't have to actually add any color information to it. It just make it like a dark. Um, bluish or reddish color just kind of like roughly define a hole and now I'm starting adding a little bit of highlight and sheen onto my eyeballs kind of just make it more spherical and also using those different colors like the red colors and the black colors to represent my eyelash and starting to add different uh, colors for my for the reflection purpose so in general like the eye always is, is reflective you know it has the reflection feature um, property and you know those, those black blue and yellowish lights I'm, I'm, I, I colors I'm adding to the corner is because uh, the things around the eyeballs maybe your hair is a yellow or maybe your clothes is yellow think about the eye the sky color as well and the sky color is normally Blue, so you'll get to some bluish ambient occlusion lighting going on there. So those factors can make your eyeballs look realistic, all right? Unless you're going for a cartoony style. So when you're doing the eye highlight for the eyeballs, you always use a hundred percent, you know, white color, a hundred percent bright white value to the highlight. Uh, because uh, that's the brightest point uh, of the eyeball. So now I'm just kind of like more defining more uh, those reflections underneath the, um, the corner and use a harder brush to um, just contour the sh overall shape of the eyes. Right. And keep that in mind. When you're working on the upper eyelid, uh, keep those the, the darkest part above the cornea. That's it. So those areas, like what I'm doing right here, um, because I'm, we have our the eye duct right there. It's like a con caracon, and you have to use a little bit brighter color on the skin to make the shape pop out and also keep adding the gradation on your eyes and the reflection what now I'm doing here is the reflection uh, from the for the upper eyelid yeah. and use a hard brush to define the highlight on the, on the eyeball So those interesting factors will literally make your eyes look, you know, beautiful. You know, if you have a good eyes, that the character is just gonna look, gonna be very attractive. So trust me, this this is something that I always work on the most is the eyes. It's fun to work on because all the people have different shape of eyes. You know, it's different. You look at the people, you look at the person, you always look at the the eyeballs. You know. That sounds a little bit quick, creepy, but yeah, that's true. Um, for the eyelash, um, sometimes I use uh, a geometry to represent to represent my eyelash, but sometimes I just straight up just paint the eyelash straight on the texture. Uh, you can use a, straight, uh, a geometry for it, but uh, uh, it depends on what kind of style that you're going for. If the character is really away from the camera, then it's this just no need to uh, make a separate geometry for it because you won't even see that. So what what I suggest is just straight up uh, paint all the textures on on the eyelash on the on the upper eyelid. All right. And now I'm gonna use a little bit more colors, kind of just like bright colors, uh, to pop the shape out a little bit more. Like so. So this is the eyelid, and I just deleted it because I feel like it's, it's, I'm not gonna use that. And at this stage, I'm using the smear brush. Kind of sometimes you use smear brush; it's gonna be very useful. Just push all the color out. 
uh, also you can just use a standard brush uh, to draw, make just scale down this brush size and to draw um, the eyelash uh, one by one. So lots of details that you have just keep defining and unless until you have a a good result. Okay. So once you have the good details, just keep scaling down your brush to you know keep working on the details to really make your eyes beautiful. And that sometimes you you know the, the process the is always from the big brush into a small brush. And the other thing that I want to mention is um, at the edge of the corner is normally very feathered and like blur. Uh, it depends on what kind of style you're for, going for. That, as I mentioned before, if you're going for a cartoony style, uh, you don't have to think about that. You just make a solid like spherical shape but if you're going for that like a realistic like what we do right here uh, you might have to make the edge really uh, blurish you know if you just take some references online and you'll see uh, in real life that people's eye corner is not actually just a solid line it's not a solid line and it's actually blurred and uh, blurred line all right okay so that's that's pretty much what we're gonna talk about. So there's nothing much more to talk about this right here. I'm just kind of, kind of just keep adding details, adding colors to it. Uh, you know, there's lots of like references online you can just copy from. And if you if you want to go for the realistic, get a, like a female. I think the female eyes are the most more attractive than you know than the male one. Uh, it's it's just easier to start with. Think about the reflection, what's going on inside of the reflection. And okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you still have any issues regarding this texturing uh, eyeballs, just leave a comment below. I'll try my best to answer all the questions possible. Okay. Uh, see you next time. Bye.